Veterans Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are the time for our weekly segment, Veterans Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes in our area and also thank them for their service. And tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Army veteran Eric Campbell. Deploying across Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan, and beyond, Lieutenant Colonel Eric Campbell continued to improve and push his leadership abilities across three decades in the armed forces. Serving today as a magistrate judge for Kansas's second judicial district, Judge Campbell leads with 30 years of military experience in his pocket. Leadership is born into somebody and you can teach them um, about leadership, but it's still you have to have the persona to lead people. And that means sometimes you have to be confident even when you're not. It's uh, to lead from the front. That journey to becoming a leader started way back in 1986. When I was enlisted, I was 19 Delta, which was an armored cab scout. Um, great job, enjoyed it. We had some autonomy. Seeing what the officers did, um, kind of decided I could do their job too. And so I decided to apply for the program, was accepted, and the Army sent me right back to college. That education would serve him well as the Lieutenant Colonel deployed around the globe. I lived in Saudi Arabia for two years. A uh, fantastic tour. It was near the Red Sea. I spent close to probably 14 years in Europe, mostly Germany, some in Belgium, um, in my various tours in uh, the Balkans, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kosovo. Um, it was a very humanitarian mission. Um, we had to stop people from killing each other based upon their religion. In his later tours, Eric's leadership skills would be tested across cultural barriers. I was an advisor to the Iraqi police. I was an advisor to the Afghan police, advisor to the Iraqi army, Afghan army. Um, and we were in very small detachments. But uh, we had a mission of training them up so they could defend themselves. It was during his time as an advisor to the Iraqi army when Eric and his group were ambushed. It ended up to be a, an insurgent dressed as an Iraqi policeman that was uh, wearing a suicide vest. And uh, I don't remember too much after that, um, but I did spend two years in uh, uh, rehab facilities going through uh, occupational physical therapy. Receiving his Purple Heart, the lieutenant colonel didn't let his injury get in the way of continuing his service. I went back to Afghanistan as soon as I was medically recovered. Uh, that day, um, I was injured, but the enemy didn't win. I was rehabilitated, I was fixed, and went right back. That's not where his Purple Heart story ends, though. As a member of the Military Order of the Purple Heart, he pushed for getting Kansas, Holton, and Jackson County designated into a Purple Heart state, city, and county, respectively. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. Quite the story, and we highlight veterans in our community every week just like Eric, and if you know someone we could feature in this segment, all you've got to do is check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each week the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Lieutenant Colonel Eric Campbell, who served our country in the United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel, thank you for your service, sir. First of all, I'd like to thank Devon James for the opportunity to tell my story, and I'm very proud to be able to present this check to the Holton High School Honor Flight Program. Awesome. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.